Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to this Great Wine Capitals webinar, the first of a series that we are going to organize to present you our Great Wine Capitals destination. The Great Wine Capitals Global Network was founded in 1999 on a Bordeaux initiative. It gathers today 11 members around the world in some of the most prestigious wine regions. One of our objectives as an organization is to promote wine or wine destinations of excellence and to create partnerships between our members to develop our wine and tourism industries and communities. Great Wine Capitals has endorsed a network of travel experts, our travel network in each of our regions based on their recognized knowledge and experiences in wine tourism. I'm happy to introduce one of our experts today Joao Falsao from the Vinitour Travel Agency in Porto, Portugal, and I hope you will enjoy his presentation. Joao, you have the Thank floor. You. Thank you, Catherine. I think I'm sharing my screen. Yes, correct. Welcome to this uh, uh, webinar, the Great Mind Capitals uh, session. And uh, first of all, thank you for your interest in Porto and the north of Portugal as a wine tourism destination. Well, it's really great to see uh, so many people, the participants from the four continents, only Australia is not in because of the time difference. My name is João Falcão. I'm the main responsible of Vinitour, and I will be with you in the next hour to provide you with uh, knowledge on professional travel creativity uh, to Porto and north of Portugal, and to share with you my passion on uh, wine and food travel and, and much more. You see, in fact, uh, my background in my background, I belong to a family of uh, wine producers, and uh, I've been connecting uh, since uh, 1998 with the slow food. So, a lot of inspiration, as you can imagine, to arrive to the stage where we are now. But Wine and food. Uh, when I mention wine and food, I'm not thinking only about the pleasure and the education about this theme. I'm thinking about as well as wine and food being a light motive to be in touch with the local people. And imagine if you travel here to Porto and north of Portugal, some of our local partners could be wine producers, could be olive oil producers or cheese producers, they will host in private uh, your guests at their own homes and estates. And so for your guests, it will be a unique opportunity to have a first-hand contact with the local way of life, to learn about traditions, culture, architecture. So for us, wine and food, besides the pleasure and education we provide, is a real passport to the behind scenes experiences, to the authentic behind scenes experience in our country, as we believe that the guests nowadays find that we pro travel professionals, we all travel professionals, we should have the key to give them a privileged access to our regions and our destinations. For us, wine and food is about this, is what I'm going to share with you in this um, one-hour webinar. Uh, that will be divided first in my presentation of 40 minutes, a presentation that will uh, uh, overview uh, quickly Vinitour and the destination. And then we prepared a selection, not all of course, but a selection of experiences that we can propose and organize and the region offers at Porto, then the Vingo Verde wine region, then the Douro or Alto Douro wine region as classified by UNESCO, and finally, uh, let's have a closer look to nature and how travel can approach nature through biking, hiking, and blending wine and food. After my presentation, uh, we will, uh, I will answer uh, uh, happily to your questions that you can place using the Q&A and the chat in the bottom of your screen. This presentation was thought for different professional interests, meaning about leisure travel, mice, luxury travel, 
um, uh, wine and fruit travel, and cycling and hiking travel. Let's start for a quick overview about Vinitur. We are a DMC and tour operator since 1998. We are based in Porto and we manage all mainland Portugal. We do mainly creative travel programs uh, and uh, we have special expertise on wine and culinary, nature and culture and cycling and hiking. We work for different segments, leisure segments, uh, for group travel, private luxury, family self-guiders, and of course, tailor-made. And we have a MICE department for incentive meetings and events. We are a team of 10 people endorsed by Great Pine Capitals, and we are certified as clean and safe, certified 100% responsible, and we have in place uh, a, a policy for single-use plastic decrease or reduction. Let's have, first of all, a quick overview about the destination. We are here in Porto, where you see the airplane on the Atlantic, the western uh, country of uh, Europe. And uh, we have a network of middle-sized cities in the Mingo area, north of Porto or in the inland, in the Douro and Trás-os-Montes area. Now, over this, the world heritage. Porto, Bom Jesus in Braga, Guimarães, Alto Dor wine region, and prehistoric rock art sites are classifications of UNESCO World Heritage here in the region. And now let's see the main wine regions, the Vimo Verde and the Douro wine regions. As you can see, we have this combination between culture, heritage, and the main wine regions that I will talk about during the presentation. And finally, important, more and more, nature. Main natural protected areas. As you can see from the Peneda Jerez National Park until many others on the coast or on inland, we can really combine natural area and the feeling of protected these uh, sanctuaries together with the culture and the wine region. The wines connected with nature are really important more and more, and we can see and travel on this. Let's start our journey in this uh, webinar. Welcome to fascinating Porto, this beautiful world heritage and gourmet destination. Here, uh, we can offer lively sunny terraces along the river or at the seaside, uh, and of course, the port wine lodges. Is there port wine lodges that ages port wine? Uh, in this magical atmosphere, peace, peaceful and in silence, that take us apart from the buzz of the city when we make the visit. And after the visit with a wine educator, uh, you can have the chance to choose one of the master wine tastings experiences and even uh, provide uh, uh, knowledge on uh, uh, the, the tasting of port wine spared with cheeses, chocolates, and many other things. And probably you won't miss the opportunity to enjoy a meal overlooking the historic port in one of, one of the port wine cellars. Let's go to the city. Travel in Porto is fun and sustainable. Look, electric tuk-tuk, cable car, historic tram, and cable railway are different ways to travel in and around the city, fun and sustainable. But when you visit and when you tour the city for art, culture, and heritage, you can see extraordinary Baroque gilded wood carvings, unique and painted tiles, and priceless art in more than 150 classified monuments in the city, typical Portuguese art the, the golden carvings and the, the tiles. Take a stroll, walk in the city and visit incredible old food sh uh, shops, food shops, and this one, the Lelo bookshops that became famous because of Harry Potter. One of the most successful ways to discover the city is uh, in a behind scenes walk and taste tour, where we visit colorful markets and food shops. And during the visit, to the Porto, where we walk gently, we can have those stops and taste behind scenes with 
uh, uh, the locals in the markets and typical food shops, a nice way to discover. But if you prefer cycling, why not? It's easy and safe in the flat uh, riverside and you arrive to the seaside following just the seagulls. Well, on the seaside at Matosinhos, you have the inevitable catch of the day. And there in Matosinhos, you can savor this incredible a fine selection of fish and seafood that arrives. And you can taste them on typical local restaurants where you see the sardines grilling outside on the street, a uh, very popular ambience until fine dining restaurants where you have the best of fish and seafood nicely prepared. In Matuzingus, near the fishing harbor, why not to add to your program this exclusive visit to a local cannery where the, they still use artisanal methods century old to uh, produce gourmet canned sardines preserved in extra virgin olive oil, a real treat of the local producers. But if you prefer trendy moments, maybe you like, uh, you, have, you are holding an event or planning an event, then we can go to a, a beach uh, by Porto, and we can have a private beach party. Imagine surf, music, cocktails, and much more on during the day or even on the sunset. If you are planning an event, you'd like to think in team buildings. Well, at Porto, we have the Port Wine Team Challenge, an exclusive team building with fun and a lot of games, with exclusive tasting and uh, a delightful uh, engaging team event in the port historic uh, area and in the port wine cellars around the river and the middle age quarter. But uh, as a team event, we can go to the active gourmet experience. You'll be really hands-on, tasting, learning, and doing yourself how to cut ham, to make cheese, and even to open the port wine vintage bottle with iron tongs it is in fire, a tradition here in Porto. But even we can go for a team cocktail party in your event. Means before the event, before drinking cocktails, everyone is involving, creating, enhancing creativity to make their own cocktails. If you look for culture, art, or you choose a cultural venue, consider Serralves, a beautiful art deco with uh, lush gardens and uh, an art museum, contemporary art museum, in fact, the most visited in Portugal. Think of something classic, the majestic Arabic room, Arab room in the Bolsa Palace, an elegant and refined venue for really special occasions uh, with capacity up to 220 people. Differently, modern or contemporary architecture, our cruise terminal, just in our Ocean Door, an award-winning architectural building, very recent, a wonderful uh, venue with the views to the sea. Back to the port wine cellars, something very recent here in Port, the stunning world of wine. Imagine 550,000 square meters, to provide unique encounters with the heads of the wine culture, with museums, restaurants, shops, bars, even a wine school will provide you full entertainment and full discover of the wine culture of the Portugal and much more. And from here, from the world of wine, you can learn about cork, cork, and take a journey to his natural origin in the southern Portugal. And then onward back to the area here near Porto, visiting the area where wine corks are produced, learn about this state, the state of art of research and development of corks. In the past, corks had problems of TCAs to the wine. Nowadays, with the new development, new technology cork is really nice. And so Wine uh, lovers are curious about all aspects of the wines. And so here in Porto, 
you may know that 70% of all wine corks of the world are produced and many wine lovers love to go there and learn how cork is done and how it influences uh, for better the quality of the wine. Cork is not only for wine, of course, as you know, is a 100% natural product used for a wide range of objects, for, for building sector and even for uh, high-tech uses. Well, in the city, for music lovers, there are plenty of alternatives. Casa da Musica, this is a beautiful uh, uh, building, contemporary architecture by Rem Kulas, a Dutch architect, with a state-of-art auditorium with natural lighting. And here you can find the preferred style of music for you. But when in Porto, don't lose the chance to hear the Tuna Academica the students' uh, university, the, the, the chorus of uh, university students that play with joy and energy at dinner, at a special events, or at the any, any other moment, sometimes even only in the street. But in spring and summer, Porto hosts several music festivals. So come here to Porto and you'll enjoy at open air in one of our parks or city center, one of the many music festivals of the city. The journey long, and we are now preparing our dinner. You can choose, why not, a sunset dinner overlooking the beach. But you have many possibilities, from simple tavern-style restaurants, where you have the authentic flavor of the local food and the local people, the century-old fine cuisine in a traditional restaurant, where you can see the people from Porto going, and they love this kind of traditional restaurant, until of course, and the, this is really great, the Star Michelin restaurants that we have here in the city. We have a number of them. This one is Casa de Chanda Bonova, a two-star Michelin restaurant inside these classified as a monument restaurant placed just by the waves of the ocean. At dinner, you may enjoy to soak the ambience and explore the nightlife in Porto. There are plenty of bars and disco at city center. It's really nice to walk and see this lively atmosphere uh, in, in bars and disco at our city center. To overnight, you can choose from different alternatives, from different level of hotels, uh, guest houses, boutique hotels, just to mention some, well, highlight some ideas. Well. Elegant boutique hotels like this one, Hermesin, in an ancient building uh, with a, a nice uh, decoration and architectural uh, rebuild. Other, the imposing Palacio do Freixo, a Baroque palace in a national monument overlooking the river, the, the, the River Douro. Or pamper yourself in the luxurious Yatman Hotel, a wine and gourmet hotel with a, a great spa and a Tusta Michelin uh, restaurant. However, before you leave the city, think or consider make a change on someone's, someone's life. Why not to make a visit and a donation uh, to a social shelter? Recently, we went with, with a, a company here to have a breakfast for uh, 70 people to this shelter, and they provide a donation to rebuild their kitchen. This kind of donation and, and social responsible, uh, corporate social responsibility is something that we take care when we host here events in our city or we host uh, guests that want to be aware with the social care in the city. Let's explore the Vingo Verde wine region. Let's go to the north, to the rolling hills, of the Vingo Verde wine region around Porto. Vineyards are planted in a shape like an amphitheater from the mountains to the sea. And the Vingo Verde uh, ranges from the delicate, fruity, citric, and slightly sparkling white Vingo Verde to the distinctive uh, young reds with acidity and an intense color, a kind of wine that is very popular to the local rich gastronomy in the area. Besides the white and reds, Vingo Verde comes as a rosé wine and even a sparkling wine. 
in the producer's experience, this time look of a heart warming reception uh, and feel like at home in this century, wine, century old wine chateau of uh, a, a local family. Or even you can appreciate differently this contemporary architecture of a best of wine tourism, wine hotel in the Vingo Verde. Meet firsthand producers and winemakers to learn how they manage their vineyards and how they produce wines at their wineries and learn how organic and biodynamic uh, wines protect best the local environment, something that is more and more important in the area. The traditional quintas, the wine estates, are inviting venues for outdoor tastings and picnic and picnics, and many have historic gardens and, kin and uh, quintas offering the best links of nature and heritage in the middle of the vineyards. But you can go hands-on and experience living as a local in a welcoming family environment. Cook with them, eat with them. You will share their passion for the, the local traditions and the bio biodiversity. When touring in this region, Verde, you can explore all this picturesque combination of middle-aged towns and villages that start on the heights of the Penedajarej National Park, a paradise for nature, until the coast with protected areas, sandy beaches, all in the same day. The region is rich in biodiversity and traditional foods and uh, uh, and this region was a, a, a slow food a developed area. Slow food classified several products. One was this core bread and others like oranges or beans. Slow food classified different products to preserve the local biodiversity that was found by slow food as really a great uh, level of uh, diversity in the area. The area is rich as well in unique heritage and art that awaits you in middle-aged venues like this one or hotels. And you can visit and host events at palaces, castles and stately homes. But you can connect with nature as well, all around the year by cycling, river kayaking or hiking like here, the Camino de Santiago from Porto to Santiago de Compostela, where you can overnight at wine producers and charming local guest houses. But you can go further and challenge your guests in the crystal clear waters of our river doing rafting and challenge them to the exciting Paiva walkways, the most recent Europe's leading adventure attraction. And there, the very recent Bridge, the spine tingling Aroca 516, the world's longest suspended bridge of this kind, suspended in the gorge, in the gorges of the Paiva River, a real adventure. Well, let's move from the Vingo Verde to the Douro, Alto Douro wine region, as named by UNESCO when classified. We can travel to this inland area, the, the Douro wine region, by different ways, but we love the train. Look, this vintage train, how nice. The landscape during the, the tour from Porto to Douro, two hours, is really beautiful. And for an event, we can even surprise guests with the train invasion. Don't worry, it's not dangerous. The invasion is finally only local people that come to play their music, give wine, and local treats, so very funny, entertaining, and makes part of the train uh, and the, the trip to the Douro Valley. Arriving there, you have these incredible views. And the view is along 100 kilometers length along the valley with the terraced vineyards, with the walls made, uh, handmade with, with stones. You may cruise from big hotel boats until until small luxury uh, boats like this that we can privatize for one hour, one day, or even more. 
at Doro really is wonderful to meet the producers of world-class wines there and olive oil and share with them the passion for this unique landscape and way of making Douro and port wines. You will not live without a, a nice picnic surrounded by nature in this unique landscape of the Douro Valley. Wineries are ready to host everyone from lifestyle wine lovers to dedicated wine collectors that will find here some uh, uh, wines rated by with 100, 100 points. But the most surprising wine tasting might be given by states not open to the public, like this one here. Being not open to the public, we have a privileged access and we can taste directly from the barrels wines that may range from 10 to 100 years old wine, really behind scenes unique experience. Wineries are more than happy to host events and warm welcome in their traditional elegant ambience, dinners for parties and groups. And in the Quintas, you can find the perfect spot for unforgettable alfresco dinners. Go gourmet at the Douro Valley and attend a cooking class by, run by a family owner of a family run wine estate. Imagine a, a place where you can learn with the family of their wines, port wine, door wine. You can go to the vegetable garden, pick the vegetables and go with the owner to their old kitchen and to cook with their tasting their wines and final, finalize with the dinner with the family. Wonderful. Astronomy uh, in the region goes from farm to table to fine gourmet menus, of course, inspired in the wine, but as well based on the local exceptional products such as cheeses, cured ham and sausages, olive oils, the herbs, and much, much more. On the Douro Valley, traveling is different. You can choose to travel from one wine estate to the other or from your hotel to the wine estate. You can travel by it in a typical wooden revealable boat similar to the ones that in the past carry the port wine casks down river from the Douro Valley to the port wine lab lodges at Porto. We still preserve some and we can use them for traveling in a totally different way from the, the normal uh, classical boats. But you can combine with a ride on the historic steam trains that run uh, in the ice season in the Douro Valley. But maybe you can choose a different way to travel. You can ride, uh, your, uh, you can ride your pedal or electric bicycles and find the best spots of the area. Or you can go soft adventure and have river kayak experience in the calm waters of the Doe River or another river. Surprise your audience in the area. Look, we still do winemaking like this, treating grapes, the red grapes in uh, stone tanks is real authentic. Uh, you may think that is not anymore uh, in use this, but it is. I'd say five to 10% of the wines, red wines are produced in the area like this. And those are the best wines still treat uh, in stone tanks, the lagars like this. If you come by from mid-September to beginning of October, you uh, will be invited to visit uh, producers where this can happen. And even why not, you can join them and make your own experience of the uh, winemaking. But join the locals can be in different ways. In this small and ancestral communitarian village where live like 40 people nowadays. And these people, they preserve nowadays community habits. For example, they get together once a week to bake their bread in a wooden oven in the center of the village. Really exciting. When we go there, we ask them, of course, to heat the oven. They will prepare the bread, 
we will coordinate arriving at the same time the, the open the heaven and everyone will enjoy to take the, the bread from the heaven and we can taste immediately with cheese and local wine and it's really delicious. And imagine that after a tour on the village, the people of the village will prepare a lunch outside sitting in a small square in the center of the village. And this lunch is supplied by the people of the village. One comes with the olive oil, the other with the sausages, the cheese, the, the meat and so on. And we organize a full lunch in this uh, ancestral communitarian village, totally hosted by the locus, really a privileged reception. Discover the Douro uh, is to find this myriad of small towns nestled in the hills, stroll along bucolic villages where residents enjoy a slower pace of life, while proudly they share the century old traditions that are kept alive to this day. Here, for example, those are those the traditional wooden masks used on carnival and still are done in the area. Many people love them and buy them as a giveaway from the visit to the region. But you can go further in the Douro to the upper Douro, the more inland area, adventuring off the beaten track and discover those natural areas and UNESCO's sanctuaries. The hidden Douro International Natural Park is a wildlife reserve with stunning gorges and is an exceptional sanctuary for serving birds of prey. You can see Bonelli eagles, golden eagles, Egyptian vultures, griffins, black storks, and many others. But you have different interests. You can follow the greens and play golf or your favorite sport in the pure countryside amidst the perfect piece of a luxurious, uh, luxurious setting like the Vidago Palace Golf and Spa Hotel near the Douro Valley. But even you can thrill your guests in a totally different perspective with an helicopter flight over the terrace of the area or uh, thrill them in a, a ride on a jet boat. To overnight in the Douro, well, what about clamping in a wine barrel? Do you manage, imagine that? This is an extraordinary proposal and experience at Pacheca, the last best of wine tourism that, of course, you should not miss. But you can choose as well a family stately home, and you will save for sure the memories of their warm welcome. Besides, if you prefer to be on private, you can book a private villa. The Douro region offers a beautiful selection of private villas on or near wine estates. Like this one, superbly decorated uh, with a local style for families or small group. This one has uh, for five rooms in Ventuselo. And they offer a range of services, including meals, river dock and boats, even an helipad just by the villa. The Douro offers as well Relais Chateau, one property, Quinta Nova, that provides really the best blend of nature and heritage in a, a, a beautiful Quinta in, in, the, in the middle of the Douro and great wines. And the Vintage House Hotel is a wonderful boutique hotel in the banks of the Douro River, a great way for exploring the region and easily connect with the train, with the boat, with hiking and cycling in the area. The Six Senses is really a superb hotel. It was, uh, uh, is installed in a reconverted manor, 19th century uh, manor house offers astonishing views, great service, wonderful food and culinary, and it has a large spa with six senses signature experiences. Now, the last part of my presentation, uh, I will take you in a closer travel to nature. Nowadays, especially after the pandemic, we believe that travelers will uh, be interested in traveling 
closer to nature in wealthy way of traveling uh, with a special care on the local environment and protected ways and to go to low density areas. I think cycling is a wonderful way. And here in our Portugal biking experiences in the North, we combine nature and great landscapes together with wine, food, and local life experience in our tour. We have a selection of itineraries that we run for group guided tours or independent travelers. Those are one week itineraries. And uh, let's have a quick overview uh, to some of them. First, Mingo de Porto. Mingo de Porto is a week itinerary for cycling that starts in our Caneda Gerais National Park at 1,000 meters high. And imagine you will do along one week a soft downhill along vineyard valleys, middle-aged towns, the coast, until arriving to the city of Porto. The Atlantic coast is literally cycling along the coast. You will start in Galicia, north of Portugal, already in Spain, and you will cycle along the coast, visiting small fishing towns, local fishing communities, bars and restaurants offering the best of fish and seafood, and you can enjoy beaches and some surf. Really a, a nice alternative for an easy flat tour Wonderful, even in summer when the inland is hot and in the, the coastline you have the breeze of the Atlantic. The Douro Valley, really a, a wonderful tour that starts in the, the eastern part of the Douro Valley and offers this great combination of unique landscapes, wines, olive oil, wildlife, and even a river cruise is included in this one week cycling tour. The Camino, of course, from Porto to Santiago de Compostela in one week. We have a version on the inland and another on the coast. Porto to Lisbon, why not? Start in Porto and ending in Lisbon, connecting the two main cities of Portugal, cycling along the coast and with picturesque rides in small towns and, and villages on the way. A beautiful way to discover Portugal. Even imagine for families, we have a family bike holiday with a lot of fun, easy uh, cycling stages, hotels uh, family friendly, and activities besides cycling like safe river canoe, uh, kayaking, uh, rafting, even painting workshops for all the family from the youngsters until the grandparents, all activities for one week of fun and gathering of a family. Accommodation for our cycling tours. We love small guest houses, like this one with five rooms only in the left in the door, or this one on the right, a manor house with 10 rooms only in the Vingo Verde wine region of a producer that hosts the guests at their winery after they arrive to their manor house in the end of the stage, of course. This one, a 16th century farmhouse, as well in the Vingo Verde wine region of a wine producer that has a vegetable garden, fruit, even horses, and the, he will invite the guests to taste their wines. The other, differently, is a modern uh, contemporary hotel at Seafront. But besides cycling, we have hiking as well. And for hiking, let uh, me overview uh, uh, our offer with Peneda Gerais, the Atlantic here, the Douro, uh, the Douro Valley and the Douro International Park. The accommodation as well for, how, for these hiking tours, we like those small charming and boutique hotels, like the first one, a vineyard guest house, 18th century manor house on vineyards. The second, a traditional manor house with swimming pool and the beautiful uh, gardens overlooking the vineyards. An hotel, four-star hotel in the historic center of Porto or a mountain village guest house uh, hosted by a local family. The tours, the hike tours, uh, 
The first in Pene de Jerez National Park uh, is a natural wildlife area. So one week discovering villages and unique traditions, local products uh, in the Pene de Jerez National Park for nature and mountain lovers. If you like the coastline, uh, the Atlantic coast and Lima Valley, and Lima Valley is famous for producing some of the best Vinho Verde white wines. And uh, here you can stay on the coast and then explore the Vinho Verde area, always hiking. hiking. The Douro International Natural Park, the more uh, hidden uh, area and less visited area of the Douro uh, region. It's a great combination of wildlife, uh, great landscapes, tradition, local uh, authentic foods, even river kayaking. And finally, the Douro wine region that uh, uh, will be one week uh, walking on the area. And to which I will invite you to see a video that we have prepared, a short three minutes video showing this uh, Douro wine region experience. Please, Catherine, can you see the video?
Okay, so um, hope you enjoy this uh, video um, about the door making tour. Um, I don't know if there are questions um, uh, about uh, the, the presentation. Anyway, I just uh, would like to, to tell you that uh, after we closing the session and closing the, the webinar, uh, you will see a pop-up form that you can fill in for further questions or, or to request information or simply to keep connected uh, with the, the destination. Um, well, now or, or, or later, uh, I say that uh, we um, will be most uh, happy, re happily ready to, to, to pre pre provide you with uh, all information. Magda. Is there any question that I should answer for the moment? Hi, good afternoon. I'm Magda from Vinitur. Yes, we have uh, uh, some questions. Um, the first one is, uh, what is Porto made? In the Douro or in Porto or both? Mm -hmm. uh, Porto is, uh, port wine is produced in the vineyards that are placed in the Douro. And uh, uh, traditionally in the past, uh, all port wine was bottled and shipped from the city of Porto and from the port wine cellars. And uh, uh, even nowadays, we preserve this uh, transport of port wine from the, the Douro Valley to the, the port wine lodges where the wine is aged, is bottled, and from the, those lodges is shipped to other countries. However, uh, the, there was a change in law, and the law allows that uh, producers, and mainly small producers from the Douro Valley, can bottle, can age and bottle directly in the Douro the wines and uh, export uh, from there. So, uh, in fact, origin is the Douro vineyards, but both um, Douro and, and Porto, the largest port are the origin of the export of the port wine. Thank you. Do you provide an itinerary and do the clients do hiking and biking by themselves or do you provide guide for two people as well? Both. Uh, as I said, we do hiking and cycling, both guided. So uh, for two people or for a party or a small group, we provide guide but we have as well the option of self-guided. Mm -hmm. We have in fact uh, clients that prefer to come with uh, a guide escorting them and the guide will be guiding them and connecting them with the, the, the landscape, with the, pe the local people uh, solving any problem, but other people prefer to go on their own uh, uh, and they can travel uh, self-guided. We for self-guided, we have um, all information, guidance, road books, uh, GPS, uh, uh, smartphone app that will help self-guided uh, self people traveling in the, in both in cycling and hiking. Okay, we have another question. Would you share the presentation I want to send to my clients? Sure. Uh, the presentation is recorded and it will be available in the Great Wine Capitals website. So please everyone, uh, you can go to, to the greatwinecapitals.com uh, webpage. And uh, in some days, I'm not sure how many days it will take to make the, the, the final edition and put it there. But uh, even if you want that we inform you when the, uh, the, the, the recorded is available, uh, we can inform you by email. Just let us know in the, the form that will pop up after the, the session, after closing the session, please be aware of the pop-up form to fill with your contacts, to be in contact. You can see the website there. Um, any all-inclusive package? Uh, yes, we don't have uh, 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 the classical, let's say, summer holiday beach package but we organize for groups bespoke uh, full inclusive packages, both for, for private travel, like Sarif, and for, for groups. Um, thank you for the presentation. In order to avoid excess heat, what months do you prefer for biking tour? 
May and or September? Uh, May and September are perfect months. Uh, I would say that uh, the, the rule is you should avoid the inland on the peak summer months, like July and August. Uh, the, our inland is, is quite hot, uh, the Douro Valley, for example. Uh, but even on the coast, you can cycle um, in, in uh, July, August. You have an average temperature around 26 degrees during the day, what is really acceptable. Um, but in fact, uh, May, June, and then September, October are uh, the, the peak season months for hiking and cycling. And is the luggage transferred from hotel to hotel for the hiking trips? Can the hiking trips be shortened to like five days instead of a full week? Absolutely. We can we customize the tour for uh, any uh, inquiry and specific interest, so we can shorten. And the luggage both for hiking and cycling tours is uh, the handling of luggage is provided from hotel to hotel every day. Isn't a bit too hilly for bike tours in the Douro? In fact, uh, but uh, what we did uh, was to uh, uh, handpick the best routes, the most scenic routes, and the routes that we selected are uh, mostly flat and uh, um, downhill. You won't do the uphill. Why? Because we have local partners that make transfers. So uh, guests don't need to, uh, to have a sportive level of cycling to go uphill. They will mostly do the, 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 the easy part. So the flat part and then the downhill. We have small uh, um, elevation, but is really uh, accessible, not sportive level. But you are right. In fact, the door looks to be a hilly place, but finally, our work of pre-organized tours is, provides uh, soft uh, uh, levels of cycling. Uh, for the moment, these are the only questions. Yeah. Um, okay. I've, but uh, if you want to leave your questions in the chat box, I can still pass on uh, to João. Please feel free. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Am I sharing the screen? Yes. Yes, okay. So, no more questions. Uh, one hour, I think we are right on time. Well, uh, thank you very much for, for attending, for, for your interest. Uh, a special word to Catherine uh, Le Parmentier from Great Wine Capitals and Magda Santos from Vinitour that uh, help organizing all these events and with the logistic part, please don't forget, uh, if you're not registered, uh, Bilbao Rioja will have a seminar on June 15th and Mainz Rheinessen in July 15th. You can register uh, for this seminar and don't lose the chance to visit other great wine capitals of the world. After summer, we'll have more announcements of the following of this uh, webinar series. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for your interest. And I wish to have you uh, here in Porto to have a toast with port wine. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>